Holmgången är Practice Tony. Greetings from Drashenwald. I'm Stigot. I'm former Kingdom Earl Marshal. I'm Prince of Nordmark. This is Holmgången. It's from 2014. Uh, it's a practice tourney um, outside our uh, small place. Uh, the list field is a rope on the ground. If you step out of the rope, you're out. And that comes from um, the Viking saga of fighting on uh, Holmgång. And uh, Holm means small uh, island, like a tiny island. And Gongen means to walk to. So basically, it means walking to the small island, Holm Gongen. And um, the saga said that if you stepped off the island, you were uh, needing the lowest of the lowest, lower than the trolls. Um, so we created this, uh, or we, uh, 2014, it was already a, a tournament uh, rolling in the Shire. And um, I organized it because uh, the guy that was supposed to organize it had moved from the Shire. And the, the rule with the tournament is if you win it, you organize the next one. So since I was organizing, I got to decide the rules and we made a proper Holmgång. It's a practice tournament. And that means that um, you can try out how it is to be in a tournament. Uh, since it's 2014, I can't really remember if uh, you had um, double eliminations for the knights and all the others had free lives or if it was some other weighted rule uh, to compensate for you know, newer people. Uh, maybe it was if you had been fighting less than two years, you had three lives, and more than two years, you had two lives, something like that. Anyway, uh, this time we ran it by Vitus rules, and Vitus rules are. Uh, that uh, the first good blow is counted as one and as you see here I got a good one on the leg and then it's a hold and a reset uh, and the second good blow regardless or if if it's on arm or leg or body it's killing so first one is one on limbs arms and legs and the second one is killing regardless of where you hit your opponent and the first one of course you can have a killing blow on body or head as ordinary fighting rules we had uh, three weapons form. Um, you could fight with whatever you wanted. Um, and um, we had two guys from the neighboring shire uh, coming over for the practice tournament.
and uh, the more f the film goes uh, the people that are have lost their lives will not be in the tournament anymore um, it is a tournament but still we're not taking it super serious <coughs> we want people to to fight and have a good time um, Of course you can have different tactics in this list, it's not super big, but you can move around in it. We found out that it, it, it actually matters if you control the middle of it or not. You will see it later. A beautiful example of controlling the middle. Uh, what happens is is that if you control the middle you can uh, limit your opponent's um, ways of stepping out or stepping wherever they want to so so you can have a little bit control over how the fight goes a little bit uh, so this is a way of practicing tournament footwork in a tournament setting. And now we have some technical things. Yeah. The Shire of um, this tournament, it's uh, the name of it is spelled uh, Holm Rike, like H O L M R I K E. The thing with that. The thing with that is, the Shire tried to register, it, it was like 20 years ago, it was before my time, maybe 25 years ago. Uh, they tried to register Holm Gård. Gård is uh, farm. Uh, and because it was on conflict in the registration, of the name Holmgård it, it came to the second choice as some some people say some people say that it should have been Holmrike from the beginning so it was a friendly discussion about the name of the Shire and since it was not possible to register Holmgård, it came down to Holmrike. The spelling H O L M R I K E. The thing is, you can pronounce it. You can pronounce it the way you would like to. So dear fellow Shire members, maybe we should settle this yearly, how to pronounce it. I will come to that later. 
If you win this tournament, you get a bragging belt and a um, small, um, small belt as well. And you can um, you can use it f until next tournament. On the smaller uh, dressing belt, you're allowed to paint your device on the belt, but only until the next tournament. If you have not painted it on the belt until next tournament, when you bring it back, you have forfeited your chance of doing so. The bragging belt is big and, um, well, you will see it later. Um, yes, um, this tournament w was held at our small space in Stockholm, outside of it, whenever it was suitable. Uh, now we have moved it to, to a event called May Count. Uh, that's because of some mundane laws in Sweden. Never mind. Uh, the tournament lives on. My proposal. My proposal to the Shire is that we should have at May count when it will happen. I don't know. But the next May count. Maybe we should have uh, a small uh, tournament. Maybe we should have uh, different parts of it, like maybe one part strategy games, one part axe throwing, one part drinking, and one part fighting. I propose that we have equal points for for all four of them. So you don't need to participate in in all four to be the overall winner. But of course it's an advantage if you do participate. Four four of them. And the first prize. What should the first prize be? The decision on how we pronounce the Shire's name for the coming year. <laughs> and then we can do it yet again next year. Fight ring throwing axes and strategy game like a true viking of course it's not my decision but it would be really fun and I also think that anyone can participate from any shire but it's the highest no not the highest the overall winner that can decide who what the shire should be called how the name should be pronounced the coming year maybe we need a discussion if if uh, if it's not a Shire member that wins the overall tournament, that uh, it's the highest uh, from the Shire who gets to decide. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking here. Anyway, this is Holmgången practice tournament, and this is the final. Mm. 
And there uh, we have the And now I have um, the bragging belt is the big belt. Yeah, we are all friends. So it was a big group hug. This is from 2014. The tournament still lives. And um, put a vote in the comments. Should it pronounce Holmgård or Holmrik? Holmgård or Holmrik? Holmgård or Holmrik? Put a note in the, in the comments. And um, this is it. This is all of it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video. And uh, take care. Goodbye from me. Stigot checking out. Bye.